Well, what's up guys? So it's a crisp 21 degrees here in Nebraska and I still don't have any fishable ice. I went and checked a few spots this morning and it's only about two inches, but it is good clear ice. So I figured I'd take some time to add a little bit of uh, more insulation to the truck camper. I'm gonna put this Reflectix material over all the windows. On the front and rear windows, I'm gonna attach it with some Velcro pieces that I've got. And then on the sides, I'm just gonna stuff it in behind the curtains. And I feel like that should work. I've got a 25 foot roll of the stuff here and it should be just enough to cover uh, everything that I've got. And this is just, it's like a bubble wrap with uh, metal uh, kind of reflective stuff on the outside on both sides. It's the same thing that I've got uh, for my front windshield it's, that you can buy. Uh, so I'm gonna get this stuff cut up and see if I can get it on there. And hopefully that helps keep me a little warmer. All right, y'all, so uh, got the Reflectix tape measure. Uh, I've got a level just so that I can uh, mark some straight lines, use as a straight edge, razor blade, scissors, uh, and some Velcro pieces. And these are individual squares. And like I said, I'm gonna use that for the rear and the front windows. Sharpie to mark everything out. So let's get started here. buy this stuff at your local hardware stores and throw this away. I got mine, I believe, at Home Depot, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards. They should all typically have it in stock. I think you can even find it at some Walmart. So, uh, find the end of it here. And as you can see, it's just a roll of uh, bubble wrap with reflective material on both sides. But it should work as a great insulator. So, I'm going to start with the side windows. hoping I could just cut this piece in half, but that's not going to work. So I need two pieces 70 inches long. Alright, we've got our two 70 inch pieces cut for the side windows, but I need to now cut these down a little bit. Uh, to 14 inches. Take a second measurement. All right, got a piece of wood. I can use this as a straight edge to cover these pieces. So get that measured out here. All right, got two of these pieces cut out. See if we can slip these behind the curtain. All right, well, the side ones went in pretty good. I don't know if you guys can even see it in there, but it's stuffed in there and it covers the whole length of the window on both sides. Let's see if you can even see it. I'm sure you can see the reflection from the outside maybe. Oh, a little bit. But it covers the whole thing top to bottom. Let's see what the other side looks like. Yeah, you can definitely see it more. You can definitely see it more on this side. But since this is single pane, that should help keep in a lot more of the heat from the inside and I guess in the summer reflect the sun but I'm more concerned about cold weather so well I guess let's do the front and rear how to do this okay that should be about the right side Me. 
get up there and hold it and just cut around it. got the back piece all cut out. I had to trim about uh, probably a quarter inch off each end and now it fits in the window pretty good. I'm going to get a few pieces of Velcro put on here and then we're going to stick it to the back window. Sorry, I can't take you guys. I can't take you guys up in there right now. You're plugged in. My battery died because it's so cold out here. Well, that worked pretty good. You guys can see all that. It's pretty smooth. Made sure to push out. I started in the center and pushed out so it was flattened out pretty good. Uh, I've got more on the filter on the bottom than I do on the top. I might put a piece in the middle here, but it covers the entire window. That should help heat transfer down there a lot. Uh, my feet do get pretty cold around the tailgate area when I'm sleeping, so hopefully that helps. All right, we got one window left the front. Let's. Uh, Let's see what we can do here. Well, I need another piece that's 14 inches tall. 57 on the bottom, about 49 on top for the angle. It should fit up there good. I'm not worried. A lot of people like stuff it into the frame uh, of the window to keep it in there, but since I'm using Velcro, I'm not worried about that. The curtains will hold them in on the side. So. I wouldn't mind a little bit of extra coverage around that window frame. See how this fits our front window. All right, got some Velcro on there. Well, there we go, everybody. We've got Reflectix on all the windows. 
one behind up there too and behind me so I can just close these curtains up I don't have these velcroed on so if I get the curtains closed you can't see it at all from the inside you can do the same thing with the front let me close this and then we've got that whole piece done just there is a little bit of a gap like I said I I do want to add a couple more pieces up there that'll work closed it's uh it'll be pretty light proof in here let me get that back open so there we go uh, pretty simple modification uh, a lot of people do it and I have heard some great things about it so hopefully it works well for me uh, I do say pretty warm in here but if there's something as simple as this that I can do to help out of course I'm going to give it a shot uh, that was one 25 foot roll and this is uh, your standard like six and three quarter foot bed so it covered everything and I have quite a bit left over so I might do like this area of the cab uh, there and then uh, the other side of this I need to take care of this the velcro is getting pretty ratty down there so let me climb out of here see how many neighbors will Give me the funny eye while I'm doing this, but there we go. Uh, worked out pretty good. Didn't take long at all. You can kind of see it from the outside, which is kind of a bummer since you can't tell when the curtains are closed uh, when that's not on there, it's just black. So I might try to color that. I don't know. I've heard uh, paint does not work well. Yeah, I hear you, bud. I hear you, bud. Sorry about the barking dog. I appreciate you guys watching, uh, taking your time out of the day to watch me insulate my truck hamper a little bit better hopefully it helps some of you guys out uh, I know there's a couple family members with RVs that I've talked to about this so uh, I'm getting ready for a little camp adventure uh, just local we have we don't have any good ice here even though I've got my ice stuff ready right here uh, just a little sled I haven't busted out the the flip over yet it's still shoved away in the basement so anyways I'm gonna get my mess cleaned up out here and uh, get this garage door closed because it's cold out there uh, I upload every three days, fishing, camping, outdoor stuff. If you thought the video was cool, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and hit it. Uh, it's free. I do some fun stuff. So, like I said, I really appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.